Hello everybody, my name is Spicy, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be on my main account and I'm going to be showing you guys uh, Padrig. I believe that's how you say his name, Grand Oak Padrig. He's absolutely amazing for so many different things and I actually pulled him the day he came out. Uh, so you guys will be, will have the chance to pull him tomorrow uh, from the Deck of Fate. And I just want to show you guys how I'm using him, kind of how I have him built, different ways I'd build him, and what he's done for my account. Um, so first, you can see I have him built uh, just pretty fast with a reaction piece and a little bit of tankiness. He's at 62.7k HP, 3.7k defense, 345 speed. Um, so with him, what I was thinking, and what actually, ha what I had him built as, um, I had him at around uh, 370 speed, but for the team that I built for Fire Knight, that was too fast, so I had to slow him down, um, but this is my build for him right now. He has his books into his A2 and his A3. His A1's really solid, um, but it just adds more RNG to my Fire Knight run, which I can't have. Um, so I'm avoiding booking this A1, and I don't yet have his masteries because the fusion has been killing my energy and my gems. Um, and I actually did recently get my Quintus, I got my um, my Ramatu, I pulled a Supreme Gaelic, and I'm about to have Armands. So there's a lot of things I have to focus on right now, and masteries will just have to wait a little bit before I can actually do all that, and I will be doing a video really soon on how I got Quintus with an account that doesn't have too many overpowered PvP champions, I mean my power right now is only 9 million, um, plat finishing and stuff, so there's a lot of stuff I've been able to do with my low level account, and I, well, low power account, and I'm really excited to show you guys all of those different things, um, but we're, this video is going to be focusing on, uh, Padraig, I just call him Gandalf, he's, a, he's like green Gandalf, but yeah, so if I were to have his masteries right now, I would be putting him into War Master, um, g g grabbing Lore of Steel, and probably just taking him down into like spirit haste or probably just lasting gifts really um so what we'd go from the heal one drop it down into rapid response uh and then go down into um cycle of magic lasting gifts lore of steel and then go down into war master if you're just using him for pvp which he's great for um you you probably just want to go with timely intervention and uh, some defensive stuff getting the cycle of revenge but yeah those are my thoughts on his masteries uh, so now moving on over to how i personally am using him right now i'm using him in my fire knight hard 10 team uh, this is the team we'll do one run it does take about two minutes two and a half minutes so if you guys don't want to sit through this that's completely fine go ahead and skip through this part uh, but yeah, this is the team, and a Cardiel is absolutely necessary for this team, so if you don't have him, I'm sorry about that, uh, but I could definitely do some videos with some teams that don't involve Cardiel, it's just based on the champions that I have booked right now, because my books are very scarce, so you guys saw how many champions that I've just recently gotten, um, not to mention the king and the queen that I don't have booked yet and it's just a lot of stuff that i'm trying to uh, juggle right now between my resources uh, but with the champions i have booked and the champions i have built this is my team um, my foley's built pretty insane my newt's really fast everybody here is very fast and i'll show you guys their uh, stats and the um and the presets and stuff because the presets are very important for how this team works so we started off by making sure that we get the revive on death. Nobody uses their abilities besides Newt. Newt has to because of how his AI works. Um, we need him using his A1 for majority of the time. And then he'll cycle back to his A3 eventually. And I've done my absolute best to make sure this is as little RNG as possible. Um, considering the champions being used. I have yet to see a loss with the team after I made the, a the AI the way I did. Uh, it looks like it's going to, and it, it it's gotten really close to losing many times, um, but I have yet to actually seen it lose. Yeah, so we 
we have a stag here because he brings a lot of damage um the decreased speed is a little rng heavy so i personally wouldn't use him as your only uh, decrease speed if you can if you have yukaro fully booked he can go in place of foley um, but foley brings so many extra attacks and he brings the dec the decreased defense on the boss um so my best run actually uh, with this team was a what a minute and 58 seconds so this one is going to be a little bit longer, and that's partially due to the different AI setup changes that I had to make uh, for the just just for minimalizing RNG and making sure we don't lose, uh, because this team did lose a few times beforehand, and I just figured that isn't worth it. Uh, so we went ahead, did a few changes, and now it is 100% from everything I've seen. Uh, back to what I was saying about Foley and Stagnite. So Stagnite is here, as I mentioned, to bring the decrease. Uh, speed onto the boss and foley's actually bringing the decreased defense through stag boosting his um, accuracy with his passive so this is like a pretty average run with this team two minutes and 41 seconds best being 158 and i have like i said i've yet to see it lose so i'm pretty happy with how it's turned out and let me go ahead and show you the stats so I do have uh, the fire knight bonuses fully done on the speed uh, ignore defense crit damage and accuracy so those are very very important for how this team is actually working um, if we go i can show you guys each of the builds just really quick go over them so if you feel like you can do a team like this well hopefully you can and these builds can give you an idea of what they are so my foley is built really insane his build is absolutely crazy He's at 6k attack, 298 speed, 100% crit rate, and 294 crit damage um, with 187 accuracy. He is fully booked, has 4 star Phantom Touch, and I just have him going down into Helm Smasher, Lore of Steel. And we have Sniper to help him get out his debuffs. Um, then we have my Cardiel. He is in 3 piece protection, two, uh, 1 Righteous set and 1 speed set. Got him at 344 speed, um, 63k HP, 3.3k defense. He is fully booked, 2-star cruelty, taking him down into War Master and Lasting Gifts. And then we have Newt. He is um, in a, well, a Divine Speed, Kill Stroke, Perception, 1-piece Stone Skin, uh, 50k HP, 5k defense, 280 speed, 100% crit rate, 250 crit damage, and 308 uh, crit damage. Oh, I said... I mean, 100% crit rate. Um, and then the 250 crit damage. He's fully booked 2-star Brimstone. Have him going down into Helm Smasher and Master Hexer. Uh, Padraig, you've already seen his build. And then Stagnite is an Instinct and Righteous. Um, he is 3.2k attack, 271 speed, 100% crit rate, 233 crit damage, 262 accuracy. With all of these builds, do just keep in mind the Fire Knight bonuses. So really his crit damage is 263 in here, and he's getting up to 291 speed. So very, very solid build here. Three star Phantom Touch, and then I have him going down into War Master. Somehow I don't have him fully mastered, guys. Uh, I think you just take him down in Master Hexer, get that extra debuff extension out there, and that's the team. Um, so we've spent enough time looking at my Fire Knight team. Now, what are some Fire Knight teams you could do with him? Um, without Cardiel, and let's assume if you don't have Cardiel, you probably don't have Valk, and I know that doesn't quite make sense, but a lot of the time that's what I see. A lot of people don't have Cardiel or Valk. Um, so if we're not using Cardio or Valkyrie, what kind of team would you be doing with Padrig? Uh, so you can either go in here with either a Martyr, a Padrig, or Padrig plus a Fat Man. Um, Fat Man's going to be another ally attack for you. And then from there, you can run Yakarl. Uh, in place of Foley, you could throw in a Ronda um, or even just your I mean, probably just your Stagnite. Um, if you would rather a more consistent team, uh, Stagnite does just bring a lot of RNG. Uh, just throw in a Tomb Lord. If you don't have him, you can always get him with a bunch of random, uh, like, useless dupes. If you have useless dupes. Um, but he is 100% consistent with this uh, decreased speed. And it's a triple hit, which is really nice. Um, so Stagnite or Tomb Lord, those are the two that I would recommend using in that place. Um, Yukaro also is bringing the decreased speed, so it isn't too much of an issue. 
it if you don't have um, either of them really built all that well. Everybody can have Yukarl. And I don't have my books, that's why I don't use mine at all. That's why I didn't bother like trying to make it work with him. Um, I, if I were to go back and do it, I would probably just up my Foley's accuracy a little bit, take out Stagnite, put in Yukarl just for some more speed control. But that's how it's working for me. So you're you're your Carl, and then Newt's obviously like he's, he's one of the absolute best. If you don't have Newt, then that's when this becomes more of a problem, and you probably need to change up your team from an ally attack team to more of a revive team with a uh, cold heart. Um, the best one that I know with a cold heart, you're going to be looking at. Uh, let's go ahead and grab it. I've done a video on this team before, but it's cold heart, fat man. Um, Mithrala, wherever she is, uh, Mithrala, and then there is a Valkyrie in the team, and that's what makes it kind of iffy for a lot of people, um, and then Stagnite, um, and then that is the team, so with this, you're gonna have stage 6, 100% consistency, absolutely no problem, it wasn't a slow run either, I think it was like two three minutes for me uh, once i finally got stagnite built and some damage um, but it's a solid team and if you have nothing else and hopefully you have a valkyrie uh, this is a very solid team um, and then of course with that exact same team what you could do is put in your padrig uh, for the ally speed and dungeons and place a fat man just take out fat man and then run the exact same team that i just showed uh, but yeah that's fire knight guys uh, outside of Fire Knight, where can you use him? Um, so you could use him in the Hydra for, let's say, a normal team that you're just trying to pump out some damage in. He has good ally attack. He has good... Um, he has good cleansing, he has good speed boost, it's all very nice and useful there. Um, what you'd be doing is probably just a team, I'd say probably like this, uh, that I run for my hard team. It's all pretty accessible champions. You'd probably just sub out Lady Kimmy, throw in him, um, and then you have an extra cleanse. You could put him in a provoke set, which I probably wouldn't do. I'd be going more Uko in a provoke set, uh, but yeah. Those are just a few thoughts there. And then to Arena, where would I use him in Arena? How would I use him in Arena? Um, first, I would absolutely use him in Live Arena. He would be amazing there. Um, there is a lot of times where you don't have a good speed booster unless you don't have, if you don't have your Arbiter, you're probably out of a speed booster for at least a lot of people's accounts. Um, you're gonna be looking at putting him as one of your fastest champions and like i said i had him about 370 uh, speed which would have been my second fastest champ uh, but i had to slow him down for the sake of the fire knight team uh, but getting him as one of your fastest champions using him for this uh, turn meter fill the increased speed and the debuff cleanse is absolutely amazing um, not to mention the ally attack and he's setting up any of your champions let's say your kaimar uh your bomb champions with the increased attack he's setting he he's setting up um any of your debuffers he really is just amazing and is good for any level of account uh, let me go ahead and find like a halfway decent team that's worth fighting um i, I don't want to use too many gems because i still need to do the fusion all the way through uh sure let's go ahead and do this team so you're gonna need a speed lead uh, that is the only issue with him is that a speed lead isn't in all battles but that doesn't really matter because so many champions bring a speed lead um, there is Duchess, there's Wukong, there's Ankora, there's Arbiter, there's, I mean, Razzlevarg, if need be, he can still do some damage, there's Uko, uh, there's just a lot of champions that you can sub in for the speed lead, but, and Armand's, obviously, he's gonna be, Armand's is just absolutely amazing, um, so, Armand's will probably be the person you're subbing in here, uh, but since I don't have him yet, we're just gonna put in my Kaimar, um, cause they're doing similar, ideas of things not quite the same thing but it's just, it's the same idea um so then we're gonna go ahead and bring in our uh, wukong and then a uko because there's a leorius and uko is just amazing into leo uh, so let's see how this does oh i believe he yes so we get the increased accuracy which is awesome we speed boost ourselves and then we take our debuffer and hopefully get the strip. Okay, didn't get the strip. That's all right. Let's see if we can get the strip off of my Uko, who also got the increased accuracy, which is big. Um, okay, we got sheep. That's just unfortunate. 
I don't even know who has sheep here. Oh, a two star on the Arbiter. And then also in Arena, you're going to be getting resets with him on the A1. And if you're not using him in Fire Knight, use him in Arena, guys. Uh, Live Arena, I'm telling you, he's going to be absolutely amazing. And you're going to be missing out if you're not using him there. Okay, we got we got RNG screwed here. So let's go ahead and redo it um, and not let Arbiter do that to us again. And maybe we'll not get 50 50 uh, like we did. Let's go ahead and do this. He's also giving increased accuracy to our nukers. He's going to be amazing for setting up any of your nukers, even your uh, defensive nukers, which is something that you don't really see in the game, is people that are properly setting up a defensive nuker. Um, I'd say the only one is Siffy, and then Mithrala at a second place. Okay, not a very well built uh, Leo there. Uh, but let's Let's pull out my Bragash. That's another champion that I uh, use a lot. That I recently got the three star soul on, and I haven't used them since the three star soul. Um, so pretty excited to see what I can do there. Um, let's do. Let's do this team. Seems to be one of the stronger ones. So again, we're gonna pull out the Padrig with a Bragash. Um, and so Wukong's a great option, but we're avoiding using any other nuker. We just need a speed lead now. Um, who's going to be a good speed lead? Obviously Kaimar. Um, let's use, yeah, use Ancora. Ancora is a champion that you guys, that most of you guys are going to have. So Ancora for the speed lead. Um, and then any champion can come into this last spot. And then UDK is a good option here. Um, I mean, obviously, Duchess. I'm just avoiding these champions that are, like, super, like, sought after. And um, the, the, the people who don't have them are absolutely screwed. Mm, yeah, sure. Let's just go with UDK. UDK, if you don't have them, I'm just sorry. That is... that. that there's not much to say outside of that. <laughs> um, all right. Let's go ahead and speed boost. We have our increased defense on our Gash. We're not going to speed boost again. We're just going to... Maybe that was a mistake. It wasn't. There we go. We kill him out. We do get the decreased defense on ourselves because of the um, because of the Crisk. All right. Let's get the reset. Throw that up. See if I can take her out. We did. Awesome. And that is the fight. So you saw Padrig. He's giving us our increased defense for gas just getting to go in instead of using an A1 like you often would in a longer term fight uh, to get that increased defense or using a Mithrala, a, a great champion, don't get me wrong, but I feel like she just she's missing something to be used in live arena a lot. Now, I'm not recording during live arena time and I it just happened to be that way, uh, so... Sorry about that, or I would show you guys some live arena fights. Let's do one more refresh, see if there's any strong teams here. Uh, yeah, the, I mean, this one's okay. It's nothing crazy, but um, we should be fine with this team. I think uh, Mithrala is actually a person that we bring into this fight. Uh, and Mithrala is one that you all have, so let's do it. Well, that most of you all have. So we get our increased accuracy, which means Mithrala basically cannot be debuffed, guys. You put that increased accuracy on her, and there's virtually nothing an enemy team can do to her. Throw out the Hex. And Nuke, and that is the team down. So, you pair... Actually, if you're going to pair Padraig with Mithrala, it's an absolutely amazing combo to a point where she probably just can't be debuffed. Um, there's very few things that somebody can do after that, uh, where you're gonna be, where they're gonna be able to get rid of her increased accuracy and do anything to you. Um, you know, for sake of this, let's go ahead and just go at this team with um, with Lydia. Lydia, hopefully you guys have some. Hopefully some of you guys have her. She's. I'm, She's pretty hard to get, but she's getting easier and easier to get over time. Uh, the stuff that we're doing now is uh, is a lot easier than when uh, than when I did it. 
to get her. Let's do one more fight, just with, uh, let's, my, dang it, my Nishak isn't really built in a, uh, in much of a damage build, he's built for soloing dragon. Um, sure, let's just throw in the rabbit for the speed lead for some damage. Um, let's go with, like, a more free-to-play friendly team. You're gonna use your, uh, say, your Wukong, your rabbit, or... Honestly, I guess the best option is just Wukong. Everybody has him. Just just use your Wukong. Tormund recently was uh was you're able to get him for free. So we're gonna pull out the Tormund. Um and then last would just be Ankora. Because Ankora is a great champion. I uh, definitely don't want to be sleeping on her at all. She's she's massive for a lot of stuff. So the ally attack helps us almost take out somebody at the beginning of a fight. We TM boost, TM boost, um, and then let's just go in with the A3. A lot of my builds are very, very strong, guys. So if your people aren't doing the same damage mine are, don't feel bad about it. It's um, it's just gear over time. And eventually, I'm sure that your Wukong will be hitting as hard if not harder than mine because honestly i don't have my best gear on him and that's probably a mistake i do want to get him built a little bit better uh, but that's just kind of how it's played out right now he's a little bit too slow for what i would want to be doing and honestly uh, the best build in wukong right now is a uh, four piece stone skin plus savage or lethal let's go ahead and cleanse ourselves again get ourselves increased speed Go in with the nuke. Ally attack, and that should be the fight. We shouldn't have to deal with Elva anymore. The ally attack is super strong. Uh, something that people don't think about too much in Arena anymore. And actually, that brings me to the last team idea that I have. Um, for anybody who's just trying to farm up the medals and stuff for the, um, uh, for the Great Hall, all you need to do, let's go against this one, Let's say you just want to run a blender team. Uh, my skull crown isn't really built right now, so I can't promise it'll one shot. Uh, let's double check what stat she has. Yeah, that's not going to work. <laughs> let's go ahead and just throw a piece on her. Um, she was in savage, but I think she's in stun gear right now. Yeah, she's in stun. I believe I just rolled up some boots. Yeah, I'll throw those on her, and then I just need a helmet. Um, how much are we, uh, which are we missing here? Sorry for any notifications in the background, guys. Um, any, like, notification sounds. Let's throw that on, and this should work now. So you run her plus Sinesha, and then the Padrig, and really that's all you need to run. There's, the, that's the entire blender comp, really. Um, but, you know, if you're, if, if you have all of these, uh, let's just assume you have your Arbiter, and then let's pull out the uh, Patrick, wherever he is. Right. And then just ally attack. We get our increased attack on our on our different champs, and then we just go in and blow things up, and that's the fight. It'll usually be a very very quick, um, sometimes a two second fight. Uh, let's just do an example here for this one. I don't know Patrick's AI, so I'm going to go ahead and do it. But four seconds, probably about yeah, two seconds against any one man defenses or any like squishier teams like this one. Um, yeah, guys, that is Padrig, and I hope you guys are able to get him tomorrow. It is going to be um, it's going to be a pretty hard one considering all of the shards we've had to pull recently, and to get the fusion done. Uh, but he is one hundred percent worth it. One of the best uh, champs in the game, in my opinion. He just does so much for your team, and I think it's an absolute no brainer that you need to get him done. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. If you did like this video, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out, guys.